All right, folks, today we're looking at a special one. This is 66 Weirfield Drive with the Bell Tear Golf Subdivision. It's a huge home on almost two acres of land. I hope y'all can hear me out here. It's kind of windy. So we've got five bedrooms, seven total baths, and this really is an exquisite property. I mean, it is a mansion. And it's truly an estate as well. It really has a very stately feel. Look at this view from the front foyer. All the houses in the subdivision are huge as well. As I was driving up, I was thinking, where am I and how have I not heard of this area in Laplace? We're offering this at $1,099,000 and it's really huge. So I'll try to get through it quickly so that we have a nice concise video for y'all. But there's truly too many amenities to even list. I mean, we've got a sauna indoors. We've got a movie theater massive pool out there i'll give you a little preview of that there's a whole separate pool house it's all overlooking a golf course it's really just exquisite got high-end finishes throughout this is truly a rare opportunity for the right person Muirfield is an interesting name for the street. I had to look it up, but it is originally linked to the very first set of golf rules in the Edinburgh Golf Club, established in 1744 over in Scotland. So there's a lot of history with this and living right on a golf course, of course, we're, we're angling for a golf loving buyer, but there's something here for everyone. I mean, Look at this closet. <laughs> Just incredible. And so this must be our master suite, but I really truly believe there are two master suites, one up and one down. Here's a tub that's almost a pool itself, a closed in shower, and there's your sauna. So a massive flat screen TV right there. Jack and Jill style sinks. Look at the crown molding up there. And the tray ceilings. Over here we've got our laundry room, one of our many half baths some closet space. This laundry room, like that master closet, is almost a whole other bedroom in size. And of course, I mean, I think these are 20 foot ceilings. I showed you that before. We'll get a better look at that when we go upstairs. This was a new construction home when it was purchased by the current owner. So it really is an exquisite condition. Here is that movie room slash movie theater. Back here is another full bath. So this place is really set up for entertaining and living large. Here we can see just how high these ceilings are in here. It's rare as a New Orleans real estate company to be able to sell a massive mansion like this on a ton of land. Here's another exquisite master bathroom. Shower and tub, walk-in closet. This house just goes on and on. It's got almost 6,000 square feet of living 
but that's not including all of the other buildings because they're not under the same contiguous roof. So we really have almost 10,000 square feet. Just let me know, I'm sure that view there. Here's a great porch. And like I said, perfect for entertaining. solid. And now over here we have more bedrooms. This one's got pool views. Another full bathroom. And that takes us through to another bedroom with its own closet as well. Now I'll show you the outside area, which is my favorite part of the home personally. We've got a massive three car garage, tons of space for parking, really all those amenities you expect out of a huge piece of property like this in Laplace. Here, now I'll show you all the outside. Full outdoor kitchen with grill. Great sitting area. Outdoor fireplace. Here's that covered pool, just beautiful. I mean, you can sit, what, 20 people out here? Really is just a magnificent property. It's as if you have a private compound here off of this lake. Over here, we've got a separate building this is kind of set up as a playroom slash dad den. <laughs> There's our HVAC systems. Another great enclosed porch and sitting area. Air hockey, ping pong, great place to watch the games right there. And another full bathroom, of course. So we've truly got a one of a kind property. It's for sale right now. It's ready to go at $1,099,000. Chris Smith's office, signing off.